gamers, welcome to my boulders. Guys, I need you to sit down, get some popcorn, get a drink. This is the newest update to CTGP7. I've missed the past couple updates, so I have a lot to do. Brand new courses in a blue coin hunt for all the tracks. There's a lot of stuff to do today, so let's get started. I'm, I'm honestly pretty excited. I haven't touched this mod in a super long time. I think it's literally been like three years. Man, dude, time just flies. It's just crazy. So, the character selection screen might look the same. You might notice that there is a, uh, a number next to every character. These are brand new skins. We've got Ice Mario. We've got Ninja from Final Fantasy. Uh, you know I gotta rock that one. But what else do we have? Oh, Arcade Bunny! That's so sick. Ice Luigi. Okay. Yo, Mr. L. Hell yeah. Oh my god, there's ten skins! <laughs> oh, this is a bunch of Birdos. Okay. Probably just a ton of different Yoshi colors. Oh, that's sick. So many different... Do they have Boshi? Yo, we got Boshi! Hell yeah! Oh, we got Poochie! And Wooly... Okay, Wooly Yoshi's sick. Okay, Bowser, Dry Bowser. Midbus! Wow, that's a cool one. Okay, of course, Sonic. Got a Toad. <laughs> a banana? You can play as a banana in this game! I love dumb stuff. What? Internet helper? What are, I love these picks. They're so random. Wow, this dude, this got, this is so much better than last time I played. There are so many characters now. Eshop bag? <laughs> what is next? Cow from Mario Kart Wii? I'm almost wet ready for that to show up at this point. Nice. Kamek? Petey Piranha? Okay. Damn, there's so many good options here. Robo Mario? That's cool. Mario Kart Arcade. Face Raider! Freaking Face Raider! Oh my god. We got a bunch of shy guys. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yo. Hypernova Kirby! Oh my god, this is sick. And then Shadow Kirby. Oh my god, there's so many. I, I mean, I have to go. We're gonna have to pick just a bunch of them. Hello! Hello! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, dude, this is hype. This is so hype. Bandicoot team, okay. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of thinking Bandicoot team. Let's just do that, I guess. Well, do they have, they have the slick wheels. I don't remember, like, what's the fastest anything in this game. Like I said, I don't play, I haven't played Mario Kart 7 in a few years. So I'm just picking whatever. Okay, now let's see if I can find the courses I need to play. SNES Donut Planes. Okay, so I think these are all brand new courses. SNES Donut Planes 2. Let's do this one to start. Looks great. Looks phenomenal. Like, I, I really try to not have high expectations. But with this mod in particular... They are always just going out of the way to just look and play as fantastic as possible. Ah, oh, man. Oh, they even have the uh, the music at the bottom. That's so sick. Dude, I love how Mario's sound effects are from Mario 64 specifically. That's so cool. Oh! It's the Mario 64 O sound. I mean, how am I supposed to play other characters when I have Mario 64 Mario in here? Oh, they even have all the icons updated on the bottom. That's nice. So many uh, Mario Kart mods, especially DS and 7, um, will not basically go through and change, like, the bottom screen stuff. Just because, like, that is so much extra effort that you have to put in. So it's cool to see everything is updated on the bottom screen and all of it's accurate. That's great. Ugh, I can't, I still can't get over that they, like, specifically added the Mario 64 sound effects. All right. We squeezed the first place somehow. Um, so we've done that. Now we have Soaring Skyway. Oh, damn, this looks cool as hell. Slot Car Rivals from Nintendo. Dude, this track is sick. Oh my god. Oh, crap. Wow! Dude, look at the... I cannot get over how nice this track looks. I like this remix, too. Oh, god. See, I'm really curious how characters like the eShop and Internet Helper... What the heck are their sound bites? Like, what would they even do for that? I don't even... I don't know. Okay, well, not great, but I'll take third. Okay, dude, where the hell was Internet Helper? I gotta play as that. Yeah! Oh my god, it makes actual 3DS sounds! Now, N64 Bowser's Castle, we have played a lot of versions of this. Um, so, very curious to see what this one is inspired by. I'm assuming the Wii version? I mean, based off the bridge that we saw in the trailer, probably the Wii version. Even that has the Wii music. Okay. Dude, the sound effects are so cute. Oh my god. This is my... F I Why is he so tiny? Dude, Internet Helper is smaller than Baby Mario's head. Dude, is I think Internet Helper is officially... Yeah, 
This is my new favorite character, Internet Helper. Oh no, Blue Shell. I'm so surprised. A Blue Shell on the first lap in Mario Kart 7? Who could have seen that coming? Although I think you can turn off Blue Shells now if you want. I'm pretty sure you can have, like, custom items, which is great. Wait, hold on. Is that a timer? Oh my god, dude, look at the little icon! Oh my god, they have a freaking timer now for that. Okay, that's honestly, like, the one thing that I really wish Nintendo did for that item. Alright, uh, Wii DK Summit is apparently next. Yeah, it looks exactly like the Wii version. Um, doesn't look like anything was really pulled from the uh, Mario Kart 8 remake. It looks exactly like the Wii version. So, I actually don't really know what the consensus is on the, uh, the remake in Mario Kart 8. I don't, I, I think people liked it, but I don't know if they liked it more than this version. I think people definitely still prefer the original. Oh, dude, that's so weird. There's no, uh, snowboarding shy guys. I totally get why they got rid of it, but it's still so weird. And no half-pipe ramps. Which, again, it's Mario Kart 7. Very, very strange, though. Oh, God! Okay, that was... Oh, oh my God! Somehow secured fifth. All right, what do we have next? Painted Swamp Raceway apparently is our next one. Okay, this looks freaking crazy. Oh, my... Oh, my God, dude! That was New Super Mario Bros. U art. Dude, this is so sick! They... they okay, they take the... That, you know, that one level, that, the, excuse me, the two levels for Mario Bros. U that actually look nice, they take that art style and then put it into a freaking track. I mean, genius. Again, this is only something that modders would think of. Like, Nintendo will never do anything like this. This is gorgeous. Now I just want a whole ass Mario game to look like this. This, like, roughly painted art, like, art style looks so nice. Oh my god, this is so cool. Great track. Really, really great track. Oh man, that was awesome. Okay, yeah, let's just, let's try some other characters out. You see, where was the eShop one? I gotta play as that character. Yes, eShop bag! Oh my god, it has eShop sound effects! Like, I'm not even surprised, but it's still so funny to, like, actually hear it. All right, Rowlet Row, that's our next one. The sound effects? I love it. Dude, the sound effects are great. Okay, I think this might have been redesigned. Some of this seems different. Parts of this track might have been redesigned. Oh man, look at that. You know what's really crazy about this? This game is not supposed to be able to do loops. Like from what I've heard, loops and corkscrews are like not supposed to be possible in this engine. And here we are, it runs perfectly. No issues at all. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this and CTGP Nitro are probably my favorite versions, or Fire Price is my favorite Mario Kart mods. Like, obviously Mario Kart Wii is huge. Uh, CTGP is a massive thing in Mario Kart Wii. But I feel like that kind of has quantity over quality, where there are tracks in that uh, mod that just aren't super great, like they're just okay. Uh, this, on the other hand, it's like they only picked high-quality tracks, and that's it. There's not really bad tracks at all. It's only good stuff. Which has a lot of merit. Dude, that, that was fun. That track was freaking awesome. Okay, let's try Orbital Outpost. This looks like a Diddy Kong Racing track. No, it doesn't. No, it does. It kind of does a little bit. I don't really know what the theme is. I guess it's just like a spacey theme. It is called Orbital Assault, after all. I guess that's the idea. We're, like, literally driving on the moon, but it's, like, a more detailed version of the moon. Like an, a moonish space station kind of thing, I guess. Best way to describe it. And there you have it. Fantastic track. There is, again, there's just not bad tracks in this mod. It just doesn't exist. But now we're going to move on to our last new one, and then we're going to try a bunch of, like, uh, retooled slash revamped ones. But this last new one is supposed to be super impressive. DS Rainbow Road. Oh my god. Dude, it looks so nice. Oh my god. Look at all those super colorful buildings in the back. Dude, it looks great. Oh my god, it looks nice. Seriously, look at even like the walls are detailed. Like a rainbow like Cocoa Pebbles kind of thing. Fruity Pebbles. Oh my god, the remix music! Wow, that was sick. 
Okay, I gotta be honest. I don't know how Nintendo would top this. <laughs> like, obviously, they could make it look nicer if they're to remake this track. But, oh my god, dude, the attention to detail is crazy. Look at this! It looks, it, it looks honestly just way too good. Holy crap. Oh, this is interesting. So they made this turn a little less sharp. I, I actually kind of like that. Like, that final turn felt very, very steep and kind of awkward in the DS version. So they smoothed it out a little bit, which is nice. Oh my god, wow. This is an incredible remake of this track. Damn. Damn, that was fun. Dude, what a great, great remake of that track. Holy crap. That was that was freaking awesome. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and change characters. And then we're going to just basically try out a bunch of tracks that have been updated. Face Raider. I forgot they had Face Raider. Oh, we, okay. We got to do Face Raider. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I think you know what? I think they added, like, new photos and stuff. Okay, hell yeah. Classic weed music. No idea if this is going to get us claimed or not. Hopefully not. Okay, I remember this part from the track last time. Oh, I, this seems a little bit updated, actually. Okay, parts of this seem more refined. I'm going to have to go back and see what the original version of this looks like. Hold on, does Space Raider even have hands? No, he's just a head. That's great. Yeah, no. Dude, you know what? It's only a matter of time. One day, there's going to be a Mario Kart mod that just has, like, VTubers. It'll only have VTuber characters, VTuber stages, and that'll be it. There's so many now that you could very easily do it if you put in the time. No, no, no. I was anticipating the wrong turn. Ah, damn it. Honestly, I could have gotten first. Well, I don't know how that was different from the first one, but that was... Miku's birthday special again. Okay, so Castle of Time. This is another one that's apparently been updated. Whoops, I picked the wrong one. Okay, that's okay. Well, let's let's switch characters. Okay, I might not play a meme character in a bit. Is, is there any more? <laughs> there might be more. Oh, dude, Kirby Hypernova. Hi, gotta do this. Temple of Time remix. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so I think this was also a Mario Kart Wii custom track at one point. Or, I don't know, maybe not. Dude, so many, like, old Mario Kart Wii custom tracks look like this. Except this looks way better, but, like, it's the same idea. Big castle, everything's gray. Kirby's just gonna say hi to me and nothing else. And I'm okay with that. I don't need any other, uh, sound bites. Just hi. I, I kind of remember this a little bit. But again, it's been so long. I remember very little about, like, details. I will say... Now that I've been playing this for a while, this is a very... Go up. Go up! Okay, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh, anyway, as, what was I saying? Um, I feel like this music doesn't really fit. It's a good remix, but for a Mario Kart track? I don't know, I feel like it just doesn't really work. It's not exciting enough. I think that's the main issue with it. Okay, and that was Castle of Time. So a few more updated ones to check out. So GameCube Luigi Circuit apparently has also been updated. I'm assuming the main update is just that it's visually looks nicer. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, yo, look at the chain chomp. Okay. He's like spinning around now. That's new. That's very different. Hell yeah. Hi. Yes, we got a Poyo! I love the little Poyo. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Our next updated one. Actually, I think they're both here. Our max. Yes, so these are the last two. We have Mario Odyssey RC Challenge. They made that into a track, so I'm assuming it just looks a lot better. Okay, I think the big update with this one is lighting. I think that's what they did. I don't really remember these uh, lights before. So that's pretty dope, because this is one of those tracks where it's like, it's such a basic design. I don't really know how you could update it, besides doing like small things like that. So having this, uh, like the lights and stuff is is nice. It looks pretty good. 
Was this the music that was in Mario Odyssey? I don't even remember. I think it did include this music. Or maybe it didn't, I'm not sure. Woo! Barely squeezed that one out. Now this I'm very curious about. RMX Donut Planes 1. Oh my god, this looks so much nicer! This looks way, way better. Holy crap. I kind of forget that, like, this is what Nintendo did for the Mario Kart Tour version of the stage. <laughs> they just have, like, a bunch of, like, like leaves you can bounce off of. I'm assuming they're bouncy? Yeah! That's sick. That, that's honestly really nice. That's refreshing. All right, let's go for the snipe. Come on. Oh, my God! We got it! Yes! Oh, man. What a way to end. Oh, we're definitely not done. But what a way to end trying out the new and the revamped tracks. Because, guys, we have just begun, okay? Because now we're going to do the blue coin hunt. And what this entails is going through every single track in the game and finding one hidden blue coin. Because that's just how it is. That's what we're doing. So let me go ahead. Let's just quit out of here. So we can do this either through time trial or Grand Prix. I'm just going to pick time trial just because that'll be... A little bit easier and basically once we get the blue coin I can just move on to the next track I don't have to finish it which is really really nice so let's go ahead and give it a shot dude this is gonna take so long oh my god okay so let's see if we can find the very first blue coin aha there it is the blue coin was just moved all right so let's see what happens blue coin collected 119 tracks remaining oh my god it's gonna take a while so now moving on to Daisy Hills this one has a lot of good hiding spots. Like, honestly, it could be anywhere here. But if I had to guess, probably, like, the rooftop somewhere. Like, because you can go on the roofs, right? Inside the goat? Is it inside the goat? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so let's try the roof first. Um, it's gotta be... Oh, okay, okay, okay. If I had to guess, it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it was! No, I, I just missed it. Aw, oh, crap. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Nice. We should probably start checking, like, behind ramps and stuff, too. Because I imagine they're going to be hiding underneath ramps as well. So, let's go ahead and go off this and then just, like, look around the ramp. Uh, it could definitely be around here. Aha! There it is. Here's some good hiding spots. <laughs> God, there's so many tracks we're going to do this for. Holy crap. It's gonna, <coughs> it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm just glad you don't have to complete the entire stage. You just find the coin and then move on. That's very, very nice. <coughs> I got a feeling it's around here. I have a feeling. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, let me re oh, there it is. It's right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, okay, okay, it worked. It actually worked. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a scary-ass jump, man. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. Get out of the way, like a 2 I can't see it. Ah! Okay, we got it. We actually got it. Yes. Woo! That was scary. I'll go ahead and check Luigi Raceway now. Dude, you know what? This would honestly be so much fun to do, just, like, running around the track instead of, like, racing. Because it is more of a, this, like, this has become a collect-a-thon at this point. That would be, it would be kind of cool. I could see it being behind here. No. There, yeah, 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 there we go. All right, nice. We're going to be here a while. We might as well liven up our characters as we're going. Nope. Let me see, Ice Mario, eh. Well, let's go mid -bus. Okay, Bowser Castle 1. I could see it being here. Nope. Or behind a thwomp. Well, no, I would have seen it. Yeah, I would have seen it. I can see right by him. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to... Oh, wait, is it behind the ramp? Ooh, that would actually be a really good spot for it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. No, it's not there. We're gonna try something crazy here. There we go. Okay. Is 
So, we're gonna ride this and see if we can find the blue coin on the edge. Very carefully. Because this is like the only place I haven't really looked. Oh, oh my god! That's so evil! Oh man, that's so evil. Okay. Oh, please don't miss. Please! Okay, we got it. Woo! Wow. That one was tough. Wow, that was a hard one. Alright, Mushroom Gorge. Let's see what this one is. Man, I'm like so much more paranoid about where I look now. Let's actually start by going backwards, because it could definitely be back here somewhere. Although, honestly, I could see it being on a mushroom, like a harder one to reach. Okay, so let's explore the track a little bit deeper. Man, if they're going to put blue coins on the outside of the map... Bro, this is going to be intense. I can already tell some of these blue coins are going to be hard as hell to get to. Is it hiding underneath the green mushroom or something? No, I don't think so. Okay, so it's it's got to be in the cave somewhere. Oh, it might actually be like in the air, because there is a gliding section. Okay, I could kind of see that. Oh! There it is! Oh my god! That one is stupid! Okay, that one is freaking stupid. You can't even see it! It's a guess! Oh my god, that one is dumb. Okay, we finally got it. Holy crap, that one was stupid. Hopefully Luigi's Mansion isn't as bad. There's nothing too crazy here. I mean, this is a pretty flat track, so I don't think it'll be that bad. Okay, so... I think a pretty good chance it's just going to be out here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but definitely a good chance it's just going to be chilling out here somewhere. Okay, it could be up there. Could be on a tree or something, potentially. There's just so many things to check behind. That's why I'm just doing that now. Oh, there it is. We found it. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Moving on to Woohoo Loop. This is a huge track. This one could potentially take a while to find. So apparently, uh, the blue coin is going to be back here. Behind this white lighthouse. And there it is. That's actually a pretty good spot for it. It's At least it's not like hidden behind something completely random. Like, oh, here's this big object. Check here. You might find it. Moving on to, of course, Mario Circuit. Uh, this one um, is supposed to be near the tunnel somewhere. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, I barely missed it. There we go! God. It's so funny we have to go out of bounds for half of these. Now Music Park. Fantastic stage, as we all know. Uh, this one's supposed to be near the piano section. Let me see. That was very easy. Surprisingly easy. Now, Rock Rock Mountain. Apparently, this one is near the big gliding ramp somewhere. Okay. Go. Oh, I see it. I saw a glimpse of it. Hold on. There it is. Ah, oh, no, we just barely missed it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we know where it is now. Woo! There we go. Very nice. Dude, that one's hard. That one's honestly really hard to get. You gotta be very precise with that. Now, Piranha Plant Slide. Uh, this one shouldn't be too bad. It's gonna be near the end of the track, though, so I'll have to play through most of it. Okay. So, it might not seem obvious. We're actually gonna turn around and you wait for the airflow. There we go. Oh! They oh, it's on that pipe! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see. I thought it was the other pipe. I see it now. Alright. Is this going to turn back on? Yeah, let's just wait a second. Maybe it does show up later. Okay, it does. Alright, I'm overcomplicating it. There we freaking go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, Wario Shipyards is supposed to be very close. It's apparently going to be around here. I think. There it is. Very nice. Alright, nice and fast. You'll love to see it. Nia Bowser Cities apparently is on the second lap, and it needs to be a gliding thing, so... I guess I'll just see if I can spot it on the first lap, and then just try to go for it second lap. Okay, uh, I do not understand. You know what's what's hard about this particular track? The color of the blue coin is, like, exactly the same tone as this entire stage. So it's very hard to see it. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! There it was! Wow! Wow, that that is quite a spot! Oh my god! It was there for like a split second. Okay, I know how to get there now. Ah! <laughs> Look at this! Why is this even drivable? Oh man! Now, Maka Woohoo, apparently this one's fairly far into uh, the track. Do I have to fly there? I don't know, I'm not seeing a map. Okay, we're going. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, I see. Okay. This mountain. All the way over here. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! I see it! Oh my god, I freaking see it, dude. No! Oh my god. I hate this one! This one's so stupid! Oh my god! It's so hard to tell when to slow down. I have no idea when I'm supposed to slow down. Yes! Oh my god, I almost missed it. I was this close to missing it. Holy crap. So, DK Jungle, this one is apparently near the end of the track. I think I need a glider ramp for it as well. It's going to be on the right somewhere. Oh my god, there it is! Oh, I just missed it! Oh, that one's cool. That's a really cool one. Okay, so next time I uh, will not be doing a little boosty, extra boost, go faster, trick jump. We're, we're just going to glide. Just do a little bit of a glide to get it. Woo! Come on! Yes! Nice! Hell yeah! So, Rosalina's Ice Whirl. This one, I think it might be a little tricky to reach, potentially. God, it's hard to play this after playing the Mario Kart 8 one. Like, man, it just looks so much better in 8. Like, it looks fine in this version, too, but man. Okay, so... It's supposed to be up here somewhere. Aha! Okay, okay. Bruh. Are you kidding me? This is what, this is what we're doing. F*** it, here we go. We made it! We actually got it! Oh my god. I thought I overshot it. I mean, I technically did. The house kind of saved me there. Wow, that was crazy. So this one's supposed to be um, on the rotating platform thing. And I think I need to take the shortcut to reach it. Okay, it's supposed to be somewhere around here. I don't see it, though. There's any, any problem. Wait, hold on. I saw a, a blue speck. There it is. There it is. Okay. I honestly can't really tell where that is exactly. Like, the, the depth perception is really hard. It's closer to the spinning things, I'll say that much. But I don't think it's, like, aligned with them, as far as I'm aware. Okay. So let's give that a shot, see if we can get it. Okay, so we really want to get on the ledge, like, right there. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Now, I've heard that this one is particularly evil. It's going to be near Saturn's rings. And apparently we need to glide the whole way. Don't really know how that's going to go, but hopefully it's not too bad. I've just heard that it's very, very hard. And if you mess it up, you just redo the level because you literally have to glide. I think that that is kind of an issue um, with, this, with the blue coins. It's just the fact that there are levels where you can't just like do a lap over real quickly. It does make it a little annoying when you, like, you know, uh, like, miss. Just because you don't spawn in a position to where you can try try to get the coin again quickly. Because look at this. I'm going to have to go... If I miss this coin, I'm going to have to play the first entire lap before I can even attempt the second one. But don't worry. We're going to get on the first try. Easy. Wherever it is. Hello? Oh, my God. There it is. Ah, oh, I got it. I got it first try, yes! Okay, that was sick. Oh my god, that was so sick. Alright, so this one is about halfway through. Something like that. It's not too deep into the stage. So it's supposed to be under the water somewhere, I think. Aha, there it is. That's a sneaky spot. That's honestly a pretty sneaky spot. Now, for uh, this one, I'm gonna need to play through most of the stage, use the glider. We have another Bowser's Castle situation here, which you'll see what I mean in a second. Alright, so... 
God, I wish I could slow this thing down. Oh no, damn it. So it's basically gonna be on this other side over here. Okay, okay, we made it. I'm turning back around. I think it's in that crevice, that tiny, tiny crevice. Oh, no, no. Are you kidding me? You're gonna make me do this? Why? I, I can hear it now. Pablo's just laughing in the background. Ha 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 ha. Players are actually going to get this stupid fucking coin. And the answer is yes, we are. Okay, this. This is probably the first dumb blue coin I've gotten. Like, there have been some that have been challenging. This one is straight up just stupid. Now, Coconut Mall, hopefully this one isn't too difficult. Although it definitely could be. There are a lot of ins and outs. So, yeah, this one might take a few tries, potentially. I always forget that this part of the stage exists. Every time I play this, that part of the stage is just there. Oh, there we go. Now, Calamari Desert, I think it's pretty obvious the blue coin's gonna be somewhere in the tunnel. Like, why would you not put it in the tunnel? That's just the, the most obvious place to put it. Aha, uh -huh, and there it is. Like, it's kind of blocking the path, but that's okay. Very nice. This one really could be anywhere. Like, DK Pass, it's hard to say. Okay, um, is it... Oh, very nice. I love when the coins are out of bounds. Ah. Now, Daisy Cruiser, there's a couple of good spots. It could be in maybe the kitchen area. It could be in the aquarium. I mean, really, it could be either of those. What do we have? It's got to be in here somewhere, right? And there it is. Maple Treeway? Again, this one could take a little bit of time. I'm just going to kind of, like, look around carefully, see what I can get. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw blue. <laughs> this nice blind jump. Oh my god, really? They couldn't have put it a little bit closer? They gotta jump. Oh, I went over it! How did I clear it like that? That was impressive. Alright, just a bunch of speed. There we go. I can't believe I cleared it that second time. I don't think this one's gonna be that hard, to be honest. This is a pretty open stage. Well, say. Actually, quite the opposite. It's not very open. There's not a lot of crevices to check behind. So, I don't see this one being that hard to find. Okay, first things first. It could definitely be around here somewhere. And there it is. Dude, I didn't even know this was back here. I've never seen the beginning of this waterfall. It's kind of cool. Dino Dino Jungle. This one could potentially be a little annoying, but we'll have to see. This level has a lot of crevices and moving parts to it. Oh, wait. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> really? All right. Oh, my God. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> okay, okay. It actually worked. It actually freaking worked. Um, I'm assuming I need to go like this. Oh my god, the camera. Bro, if the camera doesn't like it, there shouldn't be a coin near it. Okay, okay. I mean, honestly, it is kind of a clever spot, but at the same time, it's like... How on... Who, how, how is anyone gonna find that? Oh my god. I'm seeing railings. I should take the railings. Let's go and try it. Is it behind me? It might be behind me. It is. It's right there. Okay. Well, at least that one's fast. I can do it in like 10 seconds. SNES Rimmer Road, it's probably underneath the track again. Just like with the original one. There it is. It's right there. Okay. That's in such an awkward spot. But it, it should be doable. Let me see. I just need to get a good look at it. There it is. Oh, I think I can just fall down. And there you have it. We've officially done all of the vanilla tracks. Now we have to do all the brand new tracks. All 88 of them. So, Concord Town. Don't remember much of it. So, who freaking knows how long these are going to take. Hopefully they won't be too bad, though. Uh, 
Okay, let me see if this is right. Is this it? There it is! Okay, that one was kind of cool. I honestly forgot this was even a retro. Or a new retro. Uh, Mario Raceway. I don't think this one will be that hard to find. It'll probably just be out in the open somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, it's on the other side. Very nice. All right, well, that one wasn't too bad. This level slaps. I remember this level pretty uh, vividly. It's a good one. Um, you know, let's go backwards. Oh, that's a prime spot for a blue coin. There's definitely one here. Like, 100%. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, yep, it, it's got to be here, right? Really? Okay, hold on. There's no way. There you have it. This one, I don't think it'll be that bad either. Probably not. I barely remember it, but... Pretty solid so far. Aha! Here we go. Why the heck is the checkered flag, like, going backwards? Weird. Oh, Zelda music. That's nice. What about that? Ooh. Oh, yep, yeah, this is it. Okay, there it is. Nice. Oh, boy. Riverside Park. Probably gonna have to climb these uh, border things again. Ah, uh, would you look at that? That's gotta be... Okay, that's gotta be a way over. Okay. Okay, okay. That's I was way overcomplicating it. Alright, got it. Did I get it? What? I... Why? Why? What? Why? Why are so many of these so difficult? Good lord. And go! The... What do you mean I can't grab it? Why would they even make that out of bounds if you're going to put a coin out of bounds? Oh my god. Dude, I was excited for the blue coin hunt. What the fuck did I get myself into? I have already done like 40 of these damn things. I'm committed at this point. I'm in. I can't just leave. I can't pull out now. I gotta get all these freaking coins. But like, what is this? What is this coin? So I just typed in the Discord about this. Every Someone said, welcome to the club. No one can get this one for some reason. Oh my God. Like the only thing I can think of is I just need to hit it at top speed. There is no other solution. Oh, I got it! I don't know why I got it, but I got it. It's not over. Guys, SNES Mario Circuit 1! Why? No! I gotta do border shit again. All right, Mario Circuit 1, let's see how this goes. Do I need to use this? Oh, no. Oh, no. That, no, 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 that's not it. Okay, so there's no glider ramp. That means that it's it's not, like, out of bounds. There's no way. Hold on, hold on. What about, like... Okay, that's a lot better. That is much, much better. I mean, here's the thing. It's, it's difficult, right? Because with these kinds of stages, it's either you make it stupid easy... Or you force players to go on the border. I don't know. That's that's now that I've experienced like both ways of getting those blue coins with the same kind of stage. I don't really know what the best solution is. So we're doing Bowser's Castle three, and uh, you know as you'd expect, um, I think there is a glider ramp here, which means that we're probably gonna need to ride the the border whenever we see the the gliding thing. Okay, so we're on here, and where? Let's see, not over there. Um, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Question is just where. Ah, it's over there. Oh, ooh, cool. Okay, we get to do a mushroom for it. Okay, that was actually fun. See, I like the way they integrated that. I didn't have to do 50 laps on the border. That was a lot better. It was just a little bit of time on there, and then a little bit of a challenging... Either a mushroom boost or a jump or whatever. That was nice. I really liked how they went about that one. That was good. 
Let's start looking around trees. I love this song, Kirby 64. I have a feeling it's going to be behind some trees. Can I? Oh, God, I can go up here? Oh, it's got to be up here. Right? There's no way it's not up here somewhere. Wow, this song works so well for this stage. Holy crap. There we go. Next blue coin. I don't think this one will be that hard at all, to be honest. It might even be behind me. Like, I can see it hiding behind the... Whatever this is, the bridge. There it is. It's really right there. Okay. Nice and quick. Archipelago Avenue. I did not say that word right. Arc... Archipelago? Archipelago? I don't really... Okay, I was not expecting a vehicle. I bet it's here. Hey, hey, hey! There it is! Oh my god. Dude, I completely forgot how nice Frappe Snowland looks, too. I Now I'm remembering it, but I forgot, like, that was just in this game, and it just looks freaking incredible. This looks better than the Mario Kart Tour version. I mean, like, genuinely. It looks way better than that version. Can I go back here? Okay, oh, it's gotta be back here, right? And there it is. Yep, very nice. Banshee Board Walk 2. I always forget they made a sequel. Let me see. Uh, you know what? Let's let's try this. Oh man, there's actually a lot going on here. Could be. Hmm. Oh, dude, it's gotta be somewhere around here. This feels right. Oh, hold on. I saw blue. I saw blue. There it is. Nice. All right, that one was pretty easy. Now into Elemental Cave. I actually think this won't be that bad just because this stage is so dark, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of just see the coin itself. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of the ones that don't take very long. Now, I do remember this Ghost Valley. I remember it being very, very good. Yes, it adds the entire building. I feel like it's, it's, it's got to be in the building somewhere. Oh, it is right there. Okay. Wow, that is so hard to see. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. Now, Cheap Cheap Beach this is another one where I can see it just being behind us. Let's go ahead and check. Ooh, yes, in the water. And there it is. Very nice. All right. A tick-tock clock again. We're going to go backwards for the next one. Oh, I see it. It's way out there. Okay. Well, it's not way out there, but it, it's a little bit out there. Got to do a little bit of a jump for it. Now, Melody Sanctum. This one could take a while. This is a pretty complex level. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Okay. I wasn't even... I didn't even mean to look that way. I was going to look behind the book thing. But I'll take that. Now, Desert Hill, I have a feeling it's going to be near the end. Ooh. Wow, this is very jazzy. Very, very jazzy. Dude, I cannot find this coin. Where the heck is it? I really wish I could just move the camera. Get out of the way like it's... I feel like it's up there. But I don't think this is going to be enough height for me to be able to get up here. Oh, I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. I'm like almost positive because I don't know where else this coin would be. <laughs> what the <laughs> What the f <sighs> Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to find the sweet spot on where... Not even just jumping specifically, but how you jump. Like, how much I jump to the left, how much I jump to the right, and when the jump begins. That's really what it comes down to. It comes down to the jump. The jump itself needs to be perfect. If it's not perfect, it's just not going to work. Ah! Oh my god, that one was so close. That one was so f close. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, my man, you're just gonna big chill right there. The fing blue coin better be here, I swear to God. There it is! We found it! We actually found the fing coin! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
and it's 69. Oh. I am so happy about that. So, Castle of Time. We played this earlier, believe it or not, even though it feels like that was years ago. Um, we'll just look around. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, these are moving this time. Well, what changed from last time? So weird. What's the difference? There it is. There's the coin. Another cryptic one, man. Not as bad as Desert Hills. I think Desert Hills is the hardest one. Now, Yoshi Falls is a super, super basic track. I don't expect this one to take us that long to find. Uh, if I had to guess, it's probably on the edge somewhere. Uh, which edge, though? I uh, That one. That one specifically. Okay. The way that Choco Mountain's laid out, I would not be surprised if I'm going to have to go out of bounds for this one. Because otherwise, it would be way too easy to spot. Okay. It's got to be around here somewhere. Let's check this corner first. I can't tell. Is there a coin there? I don't know. Dude, I can't see down there. They put it in the corner. Uh, how is anyone going to see that? Oh, my God. A Shroom Ridge. Again, this one probably won't be that hard to find. It's a pretty straightforward track. There's not going to be much to check. Oh, damn. Oh, this song's slapping. Is it behind the ramp? There it is. It's inside the plant. Very nice. Uh, Crash Cove. There's some shortcuts we can check. So that's what I'm going to do. Dude, I have not played enough of this game. Not anywhere close to enough. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we can go on the ship. It's probably on the ship somewhere. There it is. Now we're in uh, Cortex Castle. Again, you know, like the past few, this is a pretty straightforward track. I don't see it being that hard to find. Oh my god, you barely cleared that jump. Let me see, is it over here? There it is, dude. Some of these coins are so easy. And I'm not complaining. <laughs> After Desert Hills and the Riverside Park one, I am totally fine with a few easy ones here and there. Now, for Revo Circuit, I actually don't know much about the track. I don't know how hard it's going to be. I guess we'll see. Oh, oh. Psst. Damn, this song is hitting. Dude just came out of nowhere, smacked me in the face, and said, Wake up! We're playing Mario Kart 7 CTGP. Okay, hold on. Aha! Alright, um, how do I get up there? Oh, crap. Oh, no, I think I messed this up. Oh, no! Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do another lap. Is there any other sort of opening? Oh, there is! Oh, I can actually do this. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do this then. Screw it. Alright, well, that's one way to reach it, I guess. Oh boy, a flat SNES track? What does that mean? I think you can guess what that means. Gonna have to find a glide ramp and then land on the stupid colorful blocks and then have fun doing that. Okay, perfect, just what we wanted. I'm assuming if I touch the gray, I just die. I go out of bounds. Well, let's not test that. Okay, there we go. All right, well, you know what? That wasn't too bad. Out of, like, all the tracks where I've had to do that, that one felt the most manageable, I think. We've got Star Slope. This is one I barely remember. Are these speed? Yep. Oh, I forgot this track has Celeste music. All right, I'm happy again. We got some Celeste. I mean, I've been happy the whole time, but now I'm extra happy. All right, so, the coin is okay it's right there yeah perfect not bad we are officially halfway there now i move on to sandcastle park uh not a very open track from what i can remember but i also don't remember it super well i don't think it'll be too bad Woo! sonic cd ba -ba 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 -da -bum. great song I might need mushrooms for this, potentially. Oh, 
Or not. Okay. That's fine. I'll take it. I can already tell you this one's got to be out of bounds. There's not a lot of hiding spots outside of just, like, jump down a lake or something. So, yeah, let's check this lake. See if we can find it. And there it is. Yeah, kind of figured that's where it would... Okay. There we go. This is another one. I don't think it'll be that hard. Hold on, let's actually look backwards to start. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Wait, just kidding. No, I have a feeling it's going to be up here somewhere. Maybe not this one, but one of the other ones. And there you have it. Bam! I remember nothing about Volcano Beach Ruins, so... Who knows? Who knows? Okay. I feel like it's got to be... Things are a little more open now. I think it's going to be in this area somewhere. Aha! And there it is. Nice. Thank you very much for that. Now, Yoshi Circuit. We need to start looking in the grass. It's going to be our best our uh, best bet here. Oh, my God. I found... <laughs> oh, my God. It's right there? Now, Peach Circuit, as far as I'm aware, doesn't have any glider ramps. So, it's going to be in the grass somewhere. Let's just start looking. Oh, now that's sneaky. That's sneaky. Putting that right in front of a freaking blue block. I don't remember this track at all. I think I've played this literally once. Some cool music. Ah! Okay. Damn, that train is flying. Oh my god, it goes fast. Okay. So maybe not go there. Oh, that's cute. I like the underground music. Or <laughs> the underground music? Just the background. The graffiti. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. It's another one where I don't think there's a glide ramp, so we're going to just have to start checking the sides. There we go. I, I figured it was going to be in one of those areas. I can tell you right now, this is definitely going to be out of bounds, just because this is one of the most basic tracks in this entire game. So, I guess I need to hop onto the edge. And there it is. Oh boy. Oh gosh. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Oh, it's, it's not that far away. I could probably just do a little jump. Boop. Wah, indeed. From what I can remember, this course has a glider ramp, so definitely gonna involve that. Okay, here we go. Here's the gliding ramp. Let me see what we have. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's gonna be around here. Yep. Now, Donut Plains 1, again, it's going to be on the outside somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can go out here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Way over there. That was a really good spot for that coin. It is so cool. This is the stage still. I, I freaking love this. Uh, with that said, the coin could potentially be a little bit difficult. So we'll just have to see. There it is. There it is. Okay. Hold on. Can, will this actually work? Ooh, I think it's high enough. Okay, I think we can make this work. No! I missed the jump! Oh, crap. Okay, I guess I just needed to jump earlier. I'm not really sure. Once again, another basic track, so it's probably going to be in the mud somewhere or in some awkward corner, potentially. Aha, there we go. Very nice. Now we've moved on to uh, Ermi Circuit. And I gotta say, it is kind of crazy just how much easier the coins have gotten recently. Like, they're not nearly as challenging, like, even just, just very recently. Oh, there it is. Um, the coins have just been a lot easier in general, which is nice. And I think what really adds to the experience is j the simple fact that I don't have to complete the entire stage. I get the coin once... And then that's it. That's very, very nice. That makes this so much more enjoyable. Look, look at that. We're in Baby Park. Boom. I just have to wait for the message to disappear, and then we just move on. So, so nice. I kind of forgot this is even in the game. Okay, I have a feeling it might be back here. Ooh, maybe. Can I even... Hold on. Okay, that works. Shit. Hold on. Can I still get... I have a feeling it's, it's on one of these sides. Can I just, like, jump for it? Oh, sick. There it is. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dude, there's a freaking glider ramp in the title screen. You know we're doing some 
some rail grind railing. We're doing some block rail. I guess what do you what do they even call? I caught they're calling them borders. I've called them grind rails. We're definitely not grind railing. They're just rails. All right, let's find that that freaking jump. It bounced, it bounced. Yeah, stay away. Okay, okay. We're gonna try going this way first. Well, I have no idea where it is exactly. Let's just try this route first and then see where it takes us. Look at that. I think I well you know what? Maybe that was the slower route. That that is telling me that they wanted me to go this way specifically. <laughs> Kinda forgot that Big Blue was in this as well. Dude, this game has everything. Aha, there it is. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it actually wasn't as hard as it looks. You basically just jump and boost, but the fact that it's so far out there made it really exhilarating to go for. Ah, another very flat track. Don't think it'll be that hard to find the coin. Oh, just like that, out in the distance. Actually, technically, well, it wasn't over out of bounds. It was just next to it. This is such a cool track. I love Bingo Party. No idea where the coin's gonna be, but hopefully it's not too bad. And there it is. 40 tracks remaining. Dude, we're actually starting to get kind of close. Now for Stargaze Summit, I remember almost none of this track. I know I've said that for a lot of these, but like, dude, I don't play this game. Like, I play it when there's a new mod that comes out. That's about it. Aha! You little devil. There we go. I think this is Sunset Park. Pretty sure that's what this one is. It's probably going to be... There you go. There it is. Very nice. Broken Pier. This is another stage that I always forget, like, actually got a remake in this game. Uh, if I had to guess, it's going to be like the other ghost tracks, where it's going to be, like, on the side somewhere. Aha. Yep. There we go. And now we've got Glacier Mine. Another stage I'm not really familiar with. Got some bumping music. Damn. This game's got to stop having such good music. Aha. There it is. All right. Um, oh, you know, I could actually do this. Oh, I see the turn around. This is a really good spot for this coin. I'm a big fan of this spot. I've got Flowerbed Fortress again. Another track that I barely remember. I remember parts of this one, but not a lot of it. Okay, glider section. That must mean something. Let me see. And there it is. Oh, please don't go out of bounds. I'm scared it's going to go out of bounds. Eh! Okay, no out of bounds. Thank you. I'm actually kind of surprised. You'd think there'd be out of bounds here, but I guess not. Dude, I forgot they put this track in the game. And it's freaking awesome. And what's really great about it is it's not just... Oh, which way do I go? I don't know. Uh, what's really great about this track is that it's not just like uh, porting, you know, the stage over from Sonic Heroes. It, they actually recreate it to make it way more playable. So, whoever made this one, still an absolute banger of a stage. Aha, there we go. Very nice. Bam. Bam, 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 Oh, man, it feels good to be playing this again. Freaking love this stage, dude. I love, like, every stage in Diddy Kong Racing. They're all great. Oh, my God, we made it. Okay, now is the coin up here. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, boy. This looks like the iconic Mushroom Peak stage. But it's called Mushroom Mountain, so I'm assuming it's not going to be that. Love the Mario RPG. And the blue coin should be around here. There it is. Sherbet Land probably going to be on the, the, uh, the border somewhere. Would not be surprised if I need to do that, so I'm just going to look really carefully. There we Okay, there it is. There it is. I, I had a feeling it was out there somewhere. We've got Block Island. There's definitely some blocks. Oh, what the hell? Thanks for playing my track. You're welcome. Very glad. Ah! 
No! Yeah. Yep. Sounds about right. This is another track that I completely forgot they put into the game. I mean, it makes sense. Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart 7. Only makes sense. Okay, this is the glider section now. Crap. I saw the blue coin. Hold on, can I still reach it from here? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, well, third lap it is. Yes! Nice. That's a very nice one, because you can see it, but actually getting there takes a little bit of skill. Always feels good to be playing Diddy Kong Racing Tracks. So cool you can go in the water. Let's see. All right, another coin. You might think this is Mario Circuit, Mario Kart 64. No, it's just Retro Raceway. So this one's in an interesting spot. Uh, we have to come up here. I think touching dark green will uh, knock us out of bounds. Oh my god, dude, I can't even, like, jump. And there it is! That's a cryptic one. It's not the most cryptic one, but definitely one of the harder ones to find. A frozen grotto. Probably won't be too hard to find it. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all to get that. It's kind of crazy how Riverside and Lakeside Park are both in this game. This one just looks so drastically different, too. Oh, there's the blue coin. It's right there. Okay. Uh, not sure how to get up there yet. All right, there's our blue coin. This all... Ooh. Okay, L little scary here, but nothing too shabby. Nice. And into the water for fun. I'm not going to lie, this next blue coin... This one's kind of nuts. Kind of insane. Now, this feels like one of those songs, while it is funny, um, I don't know, I feel like this hack is starting to take itself so seriously that a song like this just doesn't really fit anymore. Okay, are you guys ready for this shit? We're gonna have to go through the fire and flames to get this coin. So, we make our way down here. We're gonna take a right at this point. And you're like, oh, dead end. Nope, it's not a dead end. The coin's right f***ing there. Gotta do a crazy little jump, and then bam. So I mean, really, it's not hard to reach. It's just finding it is pretty nuts. Yo, Partners in Time music, I think. Pa Partners in Time or Bowser's Inside Story. Oh, the little sound effect. That's so cute. I love the sound effect when you drive by it. So, yeah, a little cryptic to get up there, but you have to make that jump. Then we're going to swing our way around here. And you might think, oh, it's done. No, 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 no. Now we go into this pipe. There's a whole last section here, apparently. I don't know how anyone would find this. And then there's the coin. Dude, that's a crazy-ass shortcut. Now, I know this looks like Neo Bowser City. It is not. It's Neo Metropolis. There's our coin. I guess I should probably do a little bit of that. Yep. I don't remember what this one's called. It's called Frosty something. I don't know. Dude, there's so many tracks, I can't remember them all. And then the coin is just right there. Nice. Let's do that again. That was cool looking. Very cool looking. Nasty Knox Nair. I think what this one's called. That's the wrong way. Don't know why I went that way. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I didn't realize it was at the very beginning. Well, it's another SNES track. Got more borders. We know what that means. Some chill-ass music, though. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we're going to need to land probably around here. Ah! Oh, my God. First try somehow. Okay. So let's start looking. It's going to be around here somewhere. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad at all, actually. Yeah, that one's actually pretty simple. It's another track I remember literally nothing about. It's apparently got Sonic Unleashed music, though. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. Yep, there it is. Eight, 18 tracks. Wow, we're actually getting so close now. 
Now, Interstellar Laboratory is our next one. Damn, this one looks f***ing awesome. Ba -ba -ba I'm a big fan of the DuckTales music. Yo, look at those that space helmet Goomba. I love them. That guy's sick. All right, is it around here? There it is. Look at that. There you are. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Dude, a Mario Galaxy level. Dark Matter Fortress. Yes, and it's Koopa's Road. Hell yes. Dude, I am so down with this. Now, actually getting to the coin is going to be a little fun. We're just going to need to do a little bit of this action and land, and I missed the landing. God damn it. Yes, okay, there we go. Perfect. So it's going to be on here somewhere. I don't know if I can touch the brown. Not going to risk it. Yep, and there's our coin. That one was fun to go for. It was just one basic jump. You do it right at the beginning. Big fan of that one. It feels so weird to be back at this track. It feels like a day ago since I played this. Uh, okay. Let me see. Oh, I could see a coin being here. Mm, no. I could see it, though, at one of these turns. Oh, there we go. Very nice. I will uh, grab that real quick. It's actually kind of nice to be playing this one again now that I'm using a cart that's actually not ass. We need to go into this little crevice. And then I think the coin is around here somewhere. Maybe it's this way? Oh, this has to be it. There's got to be a coin around here. Dude, I love how the minimap is just white. There's nothing else. Yep. Got our coin. Okay, moving on to Bowser's Castle again. Now, the coin is coming up. We're going to need to try to land... Yeah, so basically, it's, it's going to be... Like, behind this house. Is there another way for me to get up here? Oh, man. There's no gliding ramp. Although, maybe the third left. No, I don't think so. Dude, I think I just have to do it. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. I got it. I actually got it. Holy crap. Honestly, that one... I think I'm just getting tired of doing this. But look at that. We're only 13 away there is no... I really hope there's not harder ones after that. If that was the last hard one, great. Like, this is definitely one of those modes you are not supposed to play all at once. Like, you're supposed to get a handful of blue coins every day, and then that's it. You do not try to get all 120 at once. Uh, we're just going to go to the right here, and then that's it. Thank, I really hope the rest of them are like that. That would be so nice. Now, this track is still freaking fantastic. Such a cool looking track. Now, the blue coin for this one. I don't know how you know you can do this. But apparently it's going to be out here somewhere. I think it's this one. I think it's right there. Yeah. On to Rowlet Road. Should be another pretty solid one. So basically we're going to need to turn around here. Okay, not what I meant to do. Anyway... We want to go this way. Thankfully, it's just one big boost. The direction doesn't matter. But yeah, coin is chilling over there. Now for orbital something. The orbit stage. So you can see the blue coin a tiny bit up there. We're going to need to do this. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, it actually worked. Ah, oh, sh**. Well, ah, okay, okay. No out of bounds. No out of bounds. Thank you. Oh my god. That's actually a very cool one to go for. Like, that jump isn't that bad. It's honestly not bad at all. Dude, we're less than 10 away. Oh, my God. I can't believe I actually did this. Oh, man. You guys have no idea what's coming up for this one. This one is crazy. The music's still crazy good, too. So. Ready for this We have to go all the way over here to get the stupid coin. Oh, my God. I, I, okay, I'm not going to lie. It's actually very cool that you have to actually go into, like, the background elements to get the coin. Probably one of the most interesting ones to go for. Like, that is just, like, the last thing that you would think of on a Rainbow Road track to actually, like, go into the background to get it. Very, very cool. And now we're in Doge Desert. It's another one that I always forget is in the game. Just classic Doge Desert. Of course, Darude Sandstorm. We are in a desert after all. 
only makes sense. I cannot believe they did this! A doze troll face that says no you. Has that always been there? That is, that's, that's f***ing incredible. That is incredible. Aha! There we go, there's our blue coin. Man, that sign was so funny. Dude, I don't think I'll ever forget that. That just caught me off guard so much. You know, I think it's time. When in doubt, plays a banana. Dude, was that a banana drop sound effect? But anyway, Banshee Boardwalk, this looks a lot better than uh, the other remakes. The DS one, oh, I forgot they, had, they do this. This is so sick. It's a lot better than the DS remake, that's for sure. This coin's in a bit of a wonky spot. Gonna need to do uh, a little bit of that action, and there it is. Now, GameCube Mario Circuit. I can't imagine this one will be that hard. It's a pretty basic track. And there's our coin. Dude, five away. That's it. It's time to return to Miku's birthday special, the sequel. So, this blue coin is supposed to be on this ramp. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay, that was, that was pretty easy, actually. Dude, one more cup to go! Hell yeah! We've got N64 Rainbow Road. The rest are going to be Rainbow Road, which is great. And uh, this one, you know, should be pretty simple. Let's just uh, do a quick turnaround real quick. And uh, let's check. There we go. Look at that. Coin. Now for GBA Rainbow Road, we'll see how this one goes. Probably not going to be that hard either. I imagine it'll be out of bounds. Now, I know you can't really see it. But I promise you, the coin is right there. Oh, gosh. Yeah! Okay. Ooh, a little worried I wasn't going to make it. Now I've got RMX Rainbow Road. So, actually, a Mario Kart Tour track. It's, it's still so weird. People are, like, remaking Mario Kart Tour stuff. But it is very cool. And you can see it just a tiny bit. And that just like that, we have one more. One more coin! And this is, of course, Rainbow Road Deluxe. It combines aspects of every single Rainbow Road track together. Still one of my all-time favorite tracks, just out of, like, any Mario Kart game in general. Such a cool concept. I really hope Nintendo does this at some point. I would love to see their take on the idea. I don't see them actually doing it, uh, just because, you know, they really just want to focus on, like, new ones or just remaking old ones. But combining them all together, man... That would be incredible to see, like, Nintendo's take on it. Because it's so good. Even just modders doing it. Now, we're getting pretty close to the coin. It's going to be uh, coming up, I think, after this Double Dash section. Also, are we going to get a Double Dash remake? Just saying. I think that's got to come up at some point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just hit this. Slowly turn around. And there it is, my friends. It's been a long, long journey, but a very, very satisfying one. We've officially gotten every single coin. All coins have been collected. Now, what do we unlock from this? I don't know yet. You know what? Let's just finish off the race. Why the hell not? Let's finish it off, and then I guess we'll quit and see what we unlocked. New record. New record. Yeah, let's quit game and then see what happens. I have unlocked coin? There is no way. There is no way that's the character. <laughs> yes! After all of that, I got a coin, Kai. Look at him! Oh my god, he even does a little jingle. Well, we gotta do a race with coin. I probably just do like one lap just to try out the coin, see what he's like. Dude, it even, like, spins. I love that it just spins the whole time. That's so great. Hold on. What happens if I collect a coin? Whoa. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Look at that! Oh, my God. It has actual animations. Look at that! <laughs> That's so silly. I mean, what else do I have to say? Um, Play this mod and unlock the world's best character coin. Do it. You got to do it. 